Hey everybody, Brian here, Castle Hives, Northeast Ohio Beekeeping. We're in the apiary. We got just a little bit of work to do here today, so let's get this stuff started. I want to finish this up. It's hot out today. All right, everybody, what we're going to do today is peek real quick just on the bee castle and see how they're doing since we added on this second uh, um, deep. So just a little bit of work. I'm, I haven't really in the last week bothered a lot of the colonies just because we're in that dearth. The weather, it's been hot. The girls get a little bit cranky. So, and, and rightfully so, you know, those are all signs you know, the girls get a little bit more defensive of the stores that they have in the hives um, when you're in a dearth. And, and a dearth simply means there's there's no nectar flow. So I've been open feeding also up in another far part of the yard. Um, that's where that short came from. So, and they've been taking that entire styrofoam container, they, they drink it dry in a day. So, um, but let's get in here, peek on this um, and then the resource hive, I don't know whether I'm going to do it today, um, but the resource hive that was combined, uh, I have the poly hive all painted and ready, um, and, you know, the poly bee box, and I need to transfer, you know, the frames out of there into that hive. I don't know, like I said, if I'm going to do that today. It is just really hot. We're almost 90 degrees. Um, I've been working just sweating like crazy when i put this jacket on um it's just going to get worse you get really hot you got to be careful in that heat you know wearing all this beekeeping stuff so um let's get into the bee castle though start this just take a peek and see how this hive's doing um and if those remember this is the split that i pulled off of the main castle hive way back a couple weeks back i found that super seeder cell Pulled it off, did a split, got a mated queen. Um, she's looking good. So uh, let's open this hive up. All right, let's see what uh, the bee castle here shows us. And I'm just looking for small hive beetles uh, there. So let's get in here. So I'm gonna remove an outer frame first. This is some Premier Foundation. And what I wanna show you all now that I have are these nice frame holders that uh, my brother made for me. Look at that, how they go on there and come on there we go look at that works perfect so thank you jeff oh wow look at this this frame here is completely capped out I tell you what, the uh, bee castle here might um, might get a super here very soon. Oh, that's beautiful! Look at that brood frame. Beautiful brood. And, you know, I was expecting this, uh, the girls to be a hair, um, get a little bit defensive, but I haven't seen a single sign of that so far.
little cup on there, nothing in it. Got some drone brood here that I'm gonna just clean off. Now this next frame here, I can see they're still working. Starting to build a little bit on there. I'm gonna leave this frame sitting right here for now. Let's see what they got here. Excellent, excellent. So, I'm gonna go ahead and slide these frames back over. I'm gonna put this uh, hive here back together. Um, I don't wanna disturb them too much, but I wanted to check and see basically how they were building out. Um, very happy with what I've seen here so far with this hive um, and again it is a daughter of the main castle hive take that slide I like that those are a little bit that they grip. All right. Um, these frame holders, uh, let me get this top back on. Excellent. So, I think that's all that I'm going to do here this week. Um, I do apologize, uh, you know, last week it's I, I didn't really do video. I, I did with the candle making, but I did not get into the hives just because we are in that dearth and I'm just letting the girls do their thing. So, um, I've got one more treatment with the oxalic acid uh, and that's going to happen today. Um, this is Sunday, uh, and then I'm going to do a mite wash afterwards just to see where we're at. Um, you know, see what the six treatments did. Um, and just at that time also, when I complete my last uh, oxalic acid vaporization and do my mite wash, um, I will be at the point where the supers are going to be getting ready to go back on. How I saw in here, how it's about built out, um, I could probably put a super on there today. I'm just going to wait and that's probably going to take place this next week. Um, we're probably going to go throw supers on, you know, we're going to double up. So this is going to get a super, uh, main castle, and then the one next to it, where you, I, you know, the name that that hive was, I think we're going to revert back and we're going to go back to Buckingham with that one. It's got to be castle themes, you know? So we got B Castle, Main Castle, we're going to have Buckingham, the Gateway Hive. So that's castle hives, y'all. Um, but uh, that's the update for today. Um, but like I said, uh, a lot more coming up here. But now, to these frame holders if you see on them how they have a lip on there that's so that there's no wiggle on there um, these also if you see has the name castle hives right on there um, my brother like I said he 3d printed these they worked out pretty good right now so probably what I'm gonna do is um, 
I know there's going to be a couple that go on to my Etsy, uh, but also um, I'm probably going to do a giveaway. So a lucky beekeeper out there is going to get, and these things are super sturdy. Um, couldn't be happier with these. So uh, if you're wondering about these right here, that's going to be coming up. So, and like I said too, when I hit that, you know, 1700 mark, we're going to do a giveaway and that's where, you know, a lucky beekeeper will probably get a set of these. So, but that's it for today. It's hot. I want to get this bee, bee stuff off. Um, you all take care. Uh, if you like watching beekeeping, you know, hit that like. It really helps out the channel. Subscribe also. Keep watching what's going to be going on. So, very excited here for coming up to this fall flow here at Castle Hive. So, y'all take care. Have a good day.